Hi guys, Squirrel here. Now you may remember I did a video on this last year, the Asus Cerberus headset. Cracking little headset and I've been using it ever since. Asus have got two brand new headsets out, the Strix Fusion 300 and the Strix Fusion 500. In this video, I'll be unboxing both of these headsets. We'll be comparing the features of them and helping decide which one is right for you. Now, of the two headsets, the Fusion 300 is the slightly older one. This is about six months old. The Fusion 500 is the newer sibling. Both of these headsets support 7.1 surround sound. The main difference is that the Fusion 500 uh, supports RGB lighting. Both of them will support PC no problem at all. Let's start off by unboxing the Fusion 300 and then we'll see what the 500 has extra. Okay, let's start with the Fusion 300 then. So this comes in a uh, smaller box, but I believe both headsets are almost identical, but this is the first time I've actually unboxed this thing to take a look at it. So it looks like the box comes away and we've got a second set of uh, foam cushions. This looks like a soft version. This is a faux leather. That's more of a cloth version. Inside we've got a USB cable. We have a three and a half mil audio jack. And we have the actual headset itself. So in the box, here's the actual headset. That is a very stylish looking headset. Looks like both sides expand. On the bottom we have a three and a half mil jack and we have a USB jack. That is the faux leather look. Obviously they swap out. Uh, this is the, uh, the more foam sort of, it, I guess this depends on personal taste as to which one you go for. They can be easily swapped out. Then we have a quick start guide and a warranty notice. So that's what's in the Fusion 300. Let's take a look at the 500. Right, onto the Fusion 500. This is a much bigger box, so I'm very keen to find out what the main difference is. And look at this, very cool. I like the way that splits apart. There we go. So same thing again, we've got a uh, second set of foam. They look absolutely identical. And we have the headset itself. Now, first thing I notice is this one is a lot more stylish. Look at that kind of chrome reflective side, as opposed to uh, this is more of like a matte effect on the 300. We have more of a chrome effect on the 500. Underneath, we have a USB slot and gone is the three and a half mil jack. Other than that, they look pretty similar. Let's have a look what else is in the box. So lifting up the box itself, we have a little package. Let's get away. And inside the package is a single USB cable. Looks like it's been gold plated as well. We have a Strix Fusion start guide and a warranty notice. So to summarize, the difference between the 300 and the 500, you get the same set of secondary uh, cups. This, they both come by default with the foam leather, the faux leather. You get USB cable with 300, you also get the three and a half mil. This one does not support three and a half mil and that could be a consideration uh, if you need to use three and a half mil rather than USB sound. When you plug in the Fusion 300 or the 500 into the computer using USB, it presents itself uh, as a sound device uh, in both your playback and your recording. So you'll see it here as a ROG Strix HS headphone and you can adjust the properties. You can change the audio frequency or bit rate to whatever you want it to be here. Uh, same thing with the recording. You can change the bit rate, bit rate over here and adjust the level there. Now there are some commonalities between the Fusion 300 and the Fusion 500, which I'm wearing currently. Both of them support a USB connection, so you can USB connect into your PC as I've done, or into a PlayStation 4 or a Mac, that kind of thing. Both of them have 
50 millimeter essence, essence drivers. The drivers are the speakers that are inside the headset. They give you a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which gives you plenty of punch and uh, quite a lot of bass. 7.1 sound uh, without the need for a separate dongle. Once you plug this thing in, it presents itself into Windows natively. Some headsets you get have like a USB dongle, not the case with the Fusion series. Just plug it in and go. And there's a button on the side that you press here, which enables your surround sound. There's a retractable mic boom, and this mic boom auto mutes when you fold it away. So you just need to pull it down to use it. If you don't use it, just leave it folded up completely. Or if you want to talk to somebody and you want to mute yourself, just close it briefly and it flips down nicely. Very unobtrusive, not in the way at all. The ear cushions are oval shaped. And as I said before, you get the faux leather or the fabric options. Oval shaped makes it very, very comfortable. It sits neatly over the head and is very comfortable to wear. So let's talk about some of the specific differences between the 300 and the 500. This is the 300 series here. Now, the 300 series has LED lighting, unlike the RGB lighting on the 500. Now, what that means is when you plug this in, it glows red and you can't change the color. On the RGB, you can choose whatever color you like. This though has a three and a half mil uh, audio jack. Now, you can use a USB cable or a three and a half mil audio jack, unlike the 500 where you have to use USB. The three and a half mil basically gives you the option to plug it directly into a mixer such as this, or possibly into a mobile device. It allows the 300 series to support PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and mobile devices. Now the Fusion 500 has RGB lighting, and this thing supports AuraSync. What that means is you can change the color to anything you like, and you can have it breathe or cycle through different colors. If you have an Asus motherboard with AuraSync, then you can sync the color to any other AuraSync device, as I've done here. So if I put that down, you'll see that this is synced up with my Claymore keyboard and with my Gladius 2 mouse. And this is all controlled from your AuraSync software. Simply go into here and you'll see the motherboard, the keyboard, the mouse, the headphones, any devices with AuraSync compatible will appear here. You click this button here and it will connect to them and then you can choose whatever you want. So if you want it to go breathing, just pick your color, click apply, and then all of the devices will sync up. And even the motherboard, which you can't see, but my PC case is now glowing exactly the same color as the rest of these devices. Now, as well as the Aura Sync software, you can also download an app and use your phone to control the color on your headset using Bluetooth. If you play with a team, you can actually control the entire team's headset colors. Now there's no three and a half mil option as there is on the Fusion 300. Now what that means is you have to use USB audio. This means that it's fine for plugging into things like a PC, a Mac, PlayStation 4, or even a Nintendo Switch, but you couldn't use this in a setup like mine where I use a mixer and require a three and a half mil audio jack. Now the Fusion 500 has improved audio over the 300. It has a high fry grade DAC and a Sabre amp. It also has a 7.1 surround sound developed by Bon Jovi Acoustics. What this means is that it delivers pretty high quality audio for a gaming headset. Where the 300 is pitched more in a mid-range headset, this is aiming at people who want extra high audio quality. Now one of the things the 500 does have, which is unique, is the touch sensitive side panel. With this, you can play and pause audio by clicking on the middle. You can skip a track left and right, and you can adjust the volume up or down simply by sliding your finger. The audio quality on this Fusion 500 is superb. <laughs> just listen to some music, and when you put it on the Dolby setting, you just get this kind of depth and richness to the music. It's, it's wonderful, absolutely great audio quality. Also, once you get used to this, this play pause thing, at first it catches you out because you find yourself grabbing hold of the side and you put it on and you, why's my music stopped, you know? But uh, once you get used to it and you keep your hand away from it, just being able to, at the touch of a button, just turn the music on and off, it's actually very cool. I find the audio adjustment, maybe I'm not used to it, but I find the audio adjustment a little bit trickier. I've tried holding it down to see, oh there, actually, there you go. All right, so the, so the trick is you pull it down and then you basically hold it and it jumps down in units of four. That's how you do it. 
Just listen to the same piece of music on the 300 that I listened to on the 500. It's it's a very, very good audio quality. Um, but when you listen to the 500, it just has this kind of extra depth to it. It's a little, little bit more in the soundscape. I, it's very hard to put your finger on it. If you just listen to this on its own, you'd think that's a really good headset, that's really good audio. But when you listen to the 500 straight after, you just think, no, hang on. There's something a bit more there about the 500. This is very good. That is really good. Well, that's the music side of things sorted. Let's try it out with some games. This is a, a game called Hunter Call of the Wild. I stream this quite a bit, but I don't tend to play it on YouTube. So you may not have heard of it. This, this is a game, it's like a hunter simulation game. And there's a lot of atmospheric acoustics in this game. There's a lot of hunter sounds, a lot of noises of the wilderness, birds, rain, that kind of thing. And the clarity of the audio that you get from this Fusion 500 is right up there. And you tend to use sound quite a lot in a game like this because you can listen for the, um, the noises of the animals. So audio clarity is really important. So this thing performs really, really well. That was very loud. There it is. Just saw it. I think it just saw me and ran. There he is. <laughs> the sound. Well, nearly had the coyote. I think I scared him off. I was trying to approach a bit too quickly, but as I was moving through the undergrowth, just all the crunches, every single detail of the of the environment, I could hear everything. And when that coyote <laughs> barked, it really <laughs> made me jump. It was so incredibly like loud. I mean, just to fire a gun like this, it it kind of feels like you're stood next to a rifle. It's so incredibly crisp. So, the Fusion 300 and the Fusion 500, which headset do you choose? Largely depends on what you're looking for in a headset. The Fusion 300 and 500, they're well built. They fold down so they neatly fit inside a bag, that kind of thing. Very comfortable to wear. These uh, cushion choices here, the faux leather or the fabric, choose whichever you prefer. Myself, I prefer the fabric. They're, they're good looking headsets, there's no doubt about it. They expand to fit, they fold away neatly. I love this uh, boom arm on the microphone. Uh, this it just folds away if you don't need it. I don't need it personally, but it's there if I do need it. I love the fact that with the USB, you can just plug this thing in, you get your sound driver, you're done. You're good to go. The 300 does have this this three and a half mil jack option though. Now, this is, this is significant for somebody like me. I need three and a half mil jack option because I need to plug into a mixer for my setup. Uh, if you don't have that kind of a setup, then you can use USB. And if you use USB, you've got the choice between the two. But if you have to have 3.5mm, then the 300 is your only option. Now, in terms of the microphone, um, I did notice that the, the 500 has a digital mic, whereas the 300 doesn't. So the 500's microphone pickup is somewhat clearer than the 300's. Having said that, though, both the 300 and the 500 offer excellent sound acoustics. There's a lovely bassy sort of Christmas to the whole thing. With the 500, you get some extra depth to the sound. So if you're a bit of an audiophile as well as a gamer, then that's something to consider. Brings me to one last thing. The 500 has this touch panel, so I can adjust the volume up and down and skip tracks and that kind of thing. Is it easy to use? Well, yes, it, you just grab hold of the, he the headset with your left hand, and then you can very easily slide up and down. Uh, it, it's easy enough to find your way around. The 300 though, the 300 doesn't have the side panel and because of that, it doesn't have a way to adjust the audio. You can, both of them have a button that you can press that will give you surround sound, but on the 300, there's no way of controlling the volume, which means if you're not plugged into a three and a half mil jack via a mixer where you can adjust your volume, the only way to adjust the volume is to go back to Windows and adjust it that way. So that was a slight shortcoming on the 300. I think they should have had a, um, a volume slider on this thing to make up for the fact that the 500 has a, uh, a side touch panel. 
Both the Fusion 300 and the Fusion 500 will make you a great headset, whichever one you choose. Uh, your choice will largely depend on your requirements, but uh, these are some of the best headsets I think that Asus has ever produced.